、面白いね。そして乗ってみて、16代目のクラウン、日本の歴史に重ね合わせれば、それは明治維新です。ご覧ください。新しい時代の幕開けです。Have you ever imagined filling up your car with water? Well, this might be a reality in the near future if it were for Toyota. Toyota has always been a leader in the world of innovation, but this latest reveal takes things to a whole new level. They have recognized the potential for hydrogen fuel cells to power the future of transportation and have decided to pave the way for the, a new market that they will control and shape. With the release of the first generation Toyota Mirai in 2014, the company has already proven that hydrogen fuel cell technology can be a viable option for the automotive industry. The Mirai offered quick recharging times, long range, and zero emissions while being environmentally friendly. But now, with this new hydrogen engine, the possibilities are endless. The question is not if the hydrogen fuel cells get mainstream, but when. Join us as we go deeper into Toyota's latest breakthrough and how this could actually change the world of transportation as we know it. Toyota has long been a pioneer in electrified vehicles, with the Prius being the best selling hybrid of all time and a true game changer in the industry. Their commitment to innovation and sustainable transportation has been a driving force in the acceleration of the development and increased customer interest in fully electric vehicles. However, Toyota has decided to take a different approach. Instead of following the trend of fully electric vehicles, they've chosen to stick to their hybrid and traditional vehicles for as long as possible. But the recent reveal of the Toyota BZ4X and the CEO of Toyota, Akio Toyota's statement about the company's hydrogen fuel cell vehicle they tested in 2014 shows that they are actively exploring new possibilities in the industry and looking for ways to push the boundaries of sustainable transportation. While the EV market has seen significant growth in recent years, Toyota believes that hybrids and internal combustion engines will continue to play an important role in the automotive industry. As an alternative to EVs, Toyota has been investing heavily in fuel cell electric vehicles, or FCEVs, known as hydrogen cell powered cars. The primary benefit of FCEVs is that they use hydrogen as fuel, the most abundant element in the universe. This means hydrogen fuel is widely available and easily accessible, making it a more practical and sustainable solution for powering vehicles. Additionally, FCEVs have a lower environmental impact during production than EVs, as they use weaker batteries that require less lithium. FCEVs do not produce emissions like traditional internal combustion engines do when in use, making them a cleaner and more environmentally friendly option. The original Toyota Mirai was considered a technological marvel by many in the automotive industry. The 2020 second generation model has been released worldwide and has received rave reviews for its performance and efficiency. Apart from Toyota, other car manufacturers like Honda, Hyundai, Volkswagen, BMW, and Mercedes are all developing their own FCEVs. However, Toyota has recently started creating technology that could make hydrogen usage more efficient, such as converting internal combustion engines to run on hydrogen, which has proven to be a fruitful venture for the company. With the increase focused on sustainability and reducing emissions in the automotive industry, FCEVs are becoming an increasingly popular option amongst car manufacturers. Toyota's investment in this technology and its continued effort to improve and innovate in this field make it a leader in the hydrogen fuel cell vehicle space. With the backing of such a significant player in the industry, FCEVs will likely play an increasingly important role in the future of transportation. Talking about importance, like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any automotive related news. Toyota has recently made a significant advancement in the automotive industry by converting their popular 1.6 turbocharged three cylinder engine found in the Toyota Corolla GR and the Toyota Yaris GR to run on hydrogen instead of traditional fossil fuels. This is not only a significant step forward for Toyota, but for the industry as a whole. Toyota has also started a joint venture with Yamaha to produce a hydrogen powered 5.0 liter V8 engine. Many people wonder how an internal combustion engine that runs on hydrogen functions. It functions similarly to vehicles that run on compressed natural gas instead of gasoline. 
A large, thick tank is required to hold the hydrogen, as it's a highly flammable gas and needs to be stored safely. The engine also requires hardened valves and valve seats, stronger connecting rods, fuel injection systems designed for a gas instead of a liquid, and other improvements and general strengthening of the engine's components to withstand a higher overall pressure in the cylinder. The overall usage of hydrogen in these engines is nearly identical to the use of standard fossil fuels. However, the significant difference is that there are no CO2 emissions compared to traditional engines. Another considerable benefit of hydrogen engines is that they produce similar amounts of horsepower compared to traditional engines. The refueling time is extremely low compared to EVs, taking only 1.5 minutes to fill the new Yaris GRHT to the brim. As hydrogen-powered cars continue to advance, it begs the question, could they be the demise of electric and fuel cell electric vehicles? These cars offer a practicality that surpasses EVs and FCEVs with a higher range and faster refueling times. Not only that, but they are entirely mechanical, making repairs and maintenance a breeze, unlike EVs, which often requires replacement parts. Furthermore, these vehicles don't rely on non-renewable resources to run or be manufactured, making them more sustainable and friendlier to the environment. Imagine a future where refueling these cars is as cheap as filling them up with gasoline, thanks to the advancements in processing hydrogen. And let's remember the excitement of driving these cars. It's practically identical to traditional vehicles, complete with the mechanical noise that car enthusiasts crave. The sound of a 1.6-cylinder engine roaring down the road is music to the ears. The future of transportation is here, and it's looking bright for hydrogen-powered cars. Toyota may be taking the lead in the hydrogen-powered internal combustion engine game, but they're not the only ones who has dabbled in this technology. In 2002, BMW introduced the world to the 750HL, and later in 2005, they released the Hydrogen 7. Both cars had their challenges, but it was a step towards what we see today. But let's be real, hydrogen is a challenging fuel to work with. It's highly flammable and explosive. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Processing and storing hydrogen is a logistical nightmare. And even though these cars produce zero CO2 emissions, they do emit large amounts of nitrous oxide. But the idea of driving a car that has no emissions and is powered by the most abundant element in the universe is too alluring to ignore. Imagine cruising down the highway, windows down, and the only thing coming out of the tailpipe is water vapor. No more trips to the gas station, just a quick stop to refill your tank with hydrogen. And the best part? No more guilt trips about your carbon footprint. Hydrogen power internal combustion engines present a promising alternative to traditional fossil fuel powered vehicles. While the technology is still in its early stages, car manufacturers like Toyota and BMW have begun experimenting. These cars offer a practicality that surpasses EVs and FCEVs, with a higher range and faster refueling times. Not only that, but they are entirely mechanical, making repairs and maintenance a breeze, unlike EVs which often require replacement parts. Furthermore, these vehicles don't rely on non-renewable resources to be run or manufactured, making them more sustainable and friendlier to the environment. There are still some obstacles and challenges that need to be addressed before hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines can become the answer to all our prayers. The flammable and explosive nature of hydrogen poses a significant safety hazard, and hydrogen is extremely difficult to process and store, making it a logistical nightmare. Though hydrogen-powered cars produce zero CO2 emissions, the high combustion temperatures emit large amounts of nitrous oxide, which is also a pollutant. To reduce this, more air is needed for complete combustion, which makes the car weaker than its gasoline-powered counterparts. This means that the engine needs to be more prominent in order to produce sufficient horsepower, making the car less fuel efficient. And the costly and complex processing of producing, storing, and transporting hydrogen makes it more expensive than traditional fossil fuels. We hope you enjoyed learning about the potential of hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines. As the automotive industry continues to evolve, it's essential to stay informed about the latest technologies and trends. If you're excited about the future of hydrogen-powered vehicles, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for the updates and insights on this game-changing technology. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.